Hello everyone, welcome to another Tech Tip here at 45 Drives, Brett Kelly here today. And uh, I'm here to talk to you about Houston. And more importantly, where we're going with Houston. What's coming up? We're gonna have a little roadmap check-in. I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek on, well not really a peek, I'm gonna wave my hands around and tell you about, but I wanna tell you about the modules and where we're going with Houston. What new features are coming in and um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, everyone, before we dive into the fun new stuff, let's just, uh, for anyone new who might be joining us here, who, what is the Houston UI? The Houston UI is a browser-based web UI um, that you can access your Linux server or servers uh, from the comfort of your workstation or desk or whatever you want to call it, wherever you do your server work. Uh, Houston is built to manage and administer all the core parts of the, of the server. It can tell you about your disks, it can tell you about your storage pools, your network, uh, you can spin VMs up with it actually. You can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, we have a lot of other videos about Houston if you want to check that out. But uh, yeah, Houston is the non-command line way of looking after your Linux servers. Okay, so the first module I want to talk about is our completely rebuilt and redesigned ZFS module. Uh, this has been rebuilt from the ground up using uh, the Vue JavaScript framework to coincide with the other modules that we've built that way. Uh, it'll have full support for all the new ZFS 2.0 features, uh, really exciting. Um, we've listened to a lot of the feedback from our service team and by our customers and addressed some, some issues in the, the older uh, current module we're using right now, so really excited to get that one out to you guys. Actually, that one's really far along in development. It's so far along in development, it's available in our testing repositories right now if anyone wants to take it for a spin. Uh, the next module that's in active development right now is, well, the name is to be determined, but right now we're calling it the scheduler. And what this module will do is it's the home for running your scheduled tasks. ZFS snaps, ZFS replication tasks, rsync, rclone, meaning that you can have automated tasks going up to the cloud, smart checks, we're building this in such a way to where it's modular enough that if we can think uh, or you have a command you kind of want to turn into a schedule, we can build that into the module. So we're really excited to see this one come out as well. Next, we're giving a good look at our file sharing module and we're expanding it, dropping the file off it and making it more of a universal sharing module. It'll continue to do the Samba and NFS that you're used to, but we're also adding the ability to manage your iSCSI sharing through there, as well as your S3 um, sharing using um, uh, MinIO underneath. Uh, next is another look at the Navigator module, which is a widely, widely popular module, both with our customers and with uh, end users who don't necessarily have 45 gear, but just run Cockpit. Uh, it's one of our most starred and liked repositories on GitHub. Um, Navigator, which is a native file browser in the Houston module that you can browse all the local file system of your server. Um, and that's its current functions right now. What we're adding to that is another mode where it can browse S3 shares because if anyone's tried to uh, look for a good Linux-based S3 graphical browser to look through their objects, they don't really exist. So we're going to build you one. And uh, what we're going to do is also expand on the current features there and make it a little more Ceph friendly. Um, one of the best parts of CephFS file systems is there's a bunch of attributes you can change. You can change uh, quotas, you can change um, pool layouts, you can, you can actively uh, move where, I don't know, everything is underneath on a Ceph file system. Right now, it shows you those attributes but in a read-only mode. What we're going to build into it is the ability to edit those things so you don't have to jump to the command line and go back. There's much more deeper down on the roadmap. Those are the active ones being worked on right now. The other ones that are noodling around as we're listening from the communities of what they're looking for, they want improved domain joins. They want metrics built right into Houston. They want to um, have the ability to back up their settings and restore them easily should anything move on. Think of the way TrueNAS does it. We really like the way TrueNAS does it, so we're going to try to replicate that a little bit. And um, yeah, we're just really excited. A lot of new Houston stuff coming. We've got. Uh, can't wait to show it all to you. So stay tuned. This is just the little roadmap view. As we start to uh, put these things up in the testing repos, I'm going to pull a computer up and I'm going to show them to you. So you'll be hearing more.